I'm Dylan, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Spot using Glitch to host your server and using MongoDB Atlas to host your database. First step is to log in or sign up for an account for Glitch. Just click here, and you can sign in with GitHub, Google, any other number of things. Once you've signed in, click the New Project button in the upper right hand corner, click Import from GitHub, and this says to paste the full URL of your repository. For us, that's https github.com slash husky robotics slash spot. After you do that, it'll take a while to load in your project. Once your project's loaded, you'll see the readme right here. You can click the share button in the upper right hand corner and copy the project links to the live site by clicking on the button right here. If you navigate to that, you'll see the spot setup screen. This is the same setup screen you'd see if you're hosting it on AWS, for example. In this, you can set up the an access code. For example, let's just do admin login. You need the MongoDB database URL. We'll get that in a minute. Same with the Blue Alliance setup and the event number. Now, let's do the MongoDB database URL. We're going to be hosting the database through MongoDB Atlas. MongoDB Atlas is a database hosting service which has a free tier, which should be good enough for what we're doing here. So, we can click on Try Free. It'll prompt us to, si to sign in. It'll ask you to have the privacy policy and terms of service. Once you log in, MongoDB will ask you to create an organization. Just click that button to create an organization. Select MongoDB Atlas. Put in a name. For example, we're going to put Spot Demo. And we don't need to add any members right now. If we wanted to add somebody else, we could add them using their email address. Once we've created our organization, we want to create a new project in the organization. We'll call this also Spot Demo. And we can add members and set permissions. We don't need to do that right now. If you added somebody else to your organization, you should also add them to the project here. Once you make your project, you'll be prompted to build a database. You want to pick the free shared cluster. That's all you'll probably need for Spot unless you're doing something crazy. You can keep with the defaults for all of this and create your cluster. So we want to authenticate our connection. We want to pick a username and password. We're going to auto generate a secure password and we're going to have our username be admin. We want to copy this password and write it down for later use. To allow connections from anywhere, you want to put 0.0.0.0 slash 0 as your IP address and click Add Entry. When you're done with that, you can click Finish and Close. For that, you can click Go to Databases. And it will take a while here for your cluster to be created. Come back when your cluster is done being created. Once your database is created, you want to click Connect here. Click connect your application and then have the node.js driver make sure that that's selected here with version 4.0 or later you want to copy this and paste in the password you made for your admin account earlier where it says password you then want to go back to the spot setup page and paste that under database URL your ending database URL should look something like this be admin colon your password at cluster zero dot something 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 dot mongodb dot net. The next step is to do is to set up your Blue Alliance API key. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the Blue Alliance site, slightly linked here. On the site, you're going to click more and account. Under account, you might have to log in. Once you're here, though, you'll be able to see the read API keys you want to make a new read API key. 
get to provide a description. For this, we're just going to put spot example and click create. Then you can scroll down here and copy this API key into your setup. Then you have to find your event key. To find the event key, you go back to the Blue Alliance and you search for your event. For example, if we want the Midwest Regional, we search for it, we click there. The last thing you need to do is set up your event number. Zero is fine for your first event, but when you go to another event, if your team does, you want to change it from this so that your data will be separate. When you're done, click the submit button. It should say config saved, restart the server, then reload to complete setup. When you click reload, here's your spot app. You can access all of the all of the pages that we've shown you. You can access the analysis page by going to slash analysis. You can access the admin page by going to slash admin. And you can access all the other pages in Spot like you normally would. For more information on how to use Spot, refer to the videos on the scatter experience, the basic analysis experience, and the admin experience.